Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. In this video we're going to be taking a water damaged Xbox and then putting it, um, putting a computer in it. Uh, how is this rusty? I just replaced this. Anyway, this is extremely water damaged, um, but it still fully works surprisingly. So it's not getting thrown out. We're going to do something with it. Uh, I have this itty bitty computer here that we're going to put into the case. A couple hard drives because this is my server and I plan to continue using this. Um, for like an extremely far seen future because I'm not upgrading this. Anyway, I have the case. I'm super good at this. It only took me like 30 seconds to take it apart. So we're going to combine all these parts, this computer, into this case. Hopefully this goes well. Let's see what happens. Um, I'm not sure what to do next. I guess I'll just start putting stuff on the floor. Anyway, here we go. All right, so it does appear the original plan isn't going to work, but you want to see, look, this is how the panel goes on here. It would fit so, so perfectly right here. Um, but the power supply doesn't fit on this side. So I might have to, you know, do that. And then we can even access the audio jacks through the USB port, so we don't even have to cut a hole for those. Um, that could work, this. As long as there's enough clear actually enough clearance for the power supply. Let's actually see that. But yeah, with that little lip in there, it would just squeeze in there. Actually, I'd want to have it... Ooh, how do we do this? Because I don't want to have the thing sticking out the top. That would look... Um, or the side depending on what orientation because I want to have it stood up like a real Xbox um, obviously it wouldn't just fit like this yeah obviously not no way in heck that would fit like that um, I could mount it this the only idea I had was to mount it this way but then this you know you can't bend that and I don't want to run it with the casing off, because I don't know if that's a good idea. Obviously, it would keep the fan, but I don't want to run it with the casing off. Um, hmm, wait a... Oh, no. Um, maybe? No. I'm trying to think here. I'm going to do some more things off camera and tell you what I come up with. All right, being a little bit creative, it would fit like this with a little bit over the PCIe slot, obviously push to the front here, but I don't really want to do that. That's a, this will be the last resort, you know, have it mounted here. Uh, I'm thinking, well, let's get, I'll come back to it, one second. I think I just had a brain explode, oh, well, what, whatever. Anyway, point is, put the power supply here, run an extension, take this port out, mount the port here, run an extension out this hole on the side to there. And it fits perfectly like this. There's even some room here to put all of our cables and junk in there. And where is my SSD? Well, I have the SSD. Don't have the SSD on me. It's over there. But the SSD can go somewhere. It'll fit. I think I just figured it out. Boom. Uh, I need some thick wire, though, for this extension. Um, Alrighty, instead of messing around inside the power supply, I have this a little extender here. I just wasted a cable. Because, you know, power supplies are dangerous. Don't mess around inside them. Checked with my multimeter to make sure everything's correct and stuff. So, we're good to go here. Alrighty, so it's been about three hours since you last saw the last clip. But I cut a hole with a Dremel, which I haven't done before, which is a little scary. But anyway, uh, it was fine, and I have a hole now to put my I.O. shield. Let's get back inside and see if I can assemble it a little bit. Alright, my test fit has proved good. Looks like everything will fit. My big hole was correctly in the, um, was in the correct spot, which is amazing. Already about another hour, about another hour, here we are here. So I have this glued in now. It looks super weird. Hot glue gun, I just got burned, dang it. Anyway, it was super weird plugging uh, a normal plug into that. Anyway, and then this goes into the power supply. I'll have the SSD here. I'm gonna do a first little test boot. Hope the thing still works. Um, everything is gonna fit. It's gonna be a little sketchy, but uh, I have a piece of uh, cardboard here to hold up the motherboard so the inputs line up correctly. Um, yeah, here. and I'm going to mount the power button where the eject button was because I am... Um, can't get it to work with the actual power button and it'll look fine there so um yeah it's basically time for the first test boot just got to plug in a few more cables and hope the thing still works after all of that here we go all right it's time to plug it in and see if it works mm, nothing weird happened power supplies on let's press the button 
Is the button plugged in? Yes. Um, it must not be plugged into the correct spot. Um, hold on. Um, well, oh, my power cable is not plugged into the wall. That wouldn't do do it. I could have sworn I heard a crackle. Um, well, there goes my lights. Uh, let's plug it in. All right. Oh. Um. Yeah, that happens sometimes. It's angry, angry about the RAM. But it is indeed turning on. So, that's good. I'm going to have to fix the beeping. But it's actually not exploded. So, that's good. Uh, I'm going to see if I can fix the RAM and see what happens. All right, I just heard the post beep, which means we have successfully built an abomination. Now it's time to turn the abomination into something usable. It is now day two of the project. It is basically assembled. Uh, I started yesterday at three and until like nine o'clock, and now it's two. So this is taking a st stupid long time. So I have this hard drive that's pretty warm because it's been running for two hours, copying files over to it from my old server hard drive. Um, and it's basically time to assemble. This isn't terribly, terribly sketchy, I'd say. You know, like, it seems safe. Um, it's just, just so many cables, you know. I'm going to try to plug this in, and we'll do actually give it a test boot uh, with the screen and everything, and hope everything works, and then put it together for hopefully maybe at least a week before we have to take it apart again. Alrighty, I put the uh, drives here, which should be good, and da -da -da, it booted up. I'll completely destroy this computer, which is good. Um, it's super weird seeing this on an actual monitor because I've never, I really have never done that. I have always remoted into this because, you know, it's a server. Um, and it's basically assembly time, so, yeah, let's get that done. See how hard it is. So it's not entirely done, but it's assembled. Um, the wires kind of stick out a little bit, not over this lip, so it's fine to set it down on that, but, um, they do make it so a panel can't go on. Now, I didn't break this. It was already broken like this. But it does actually fit in here. So it covers the majority of it, uh, just without the wires. So I will do, I'll glue that at some point. i say one of the biggest issues is the panel gaps on the front here are bigger than a uh, Tesla. But other than that, everything is fine. You can see the hard drives and everything in there. Um, and this, uh, oop, yeah, that's not, that's only, that's only temporary until I get more glue sticks, because I have the sync button too, it'll look a lot better, but it's assembled, let's plug it in, turn it on, and actually do something with it. I like this isn't going to be the, um, okay, it only, it started late, uh, I'm going to re-explain that, anyway, um, recording is being weird, anyway, so this, I feel like this isn't going to be the last Xbox computer I make, but the next ones are going to be a lot better. Because I also had the idea to use a mini, mini PC, like actually small, like a Lenovo, one of those little Lenovos. Put it in here, and then you could even add like a disk drive or something, like where the original one was, which, is, which would be pretty cool. Alright, let's now plug it in. So look awesome, all you do, plug in, and you know, obviously, the, our cables here. And then, we're going to ignore that it turned on by itself. Hit the power button and the sync button. Also with that, um, I didn't really damage the case that bad, besides cutting the hole in it for the IO shield. But if I built another one, I need to do that anyway. So, I could just gut this case. I still have the original panel for the bottom of it. I didn't break that. So, we really didn't damage the case too bad. So, I could redo this at some point. The power button doesn't work. I could also make that a thing too, but for now, it's good. This is the power button, the sync button, since I just glued it there. Oh, I saw it's actually taped there. I was supposed to fix that. We're going to pretend we didn't notice that, and we're going to leave it like that until it breaks. Now, where I am, this is my server, so server things. Anyway, let's try to run some games on it and check some temperatures and stuff. Using my lovely PS2 keyboard set.
with the trackball. And the, actually, this is a laser, huh? Anyway, attempts. We are just idling, so. But and here's our attempts. Um, they're normal. Uh, what the heck? Uh, that's a cold temp one. Whatever's going on there. Anyway, it does sound a little, you can feel some air coming out of the top because the CPU fan's about right here. So, it does sound a little bit, but it wasn't really any louder than the old server was. This is an iFi 3 430 with no GPU or anything. So, it's pretty, um, pretty lightweight. I use this for my Plex and Minecraft server, which I completely forgot about. I'm supposed to, like, plug that. I've been having this channel for 11 months. I haven't mentioned my Minecraft server a single time. Hopefully this video will blow up and it'll help me out there. Uh, anyway, let's run some games. Uh, which one? Let's find out. Well, like 10 times more powerful than an original Xbox 360, which is kind of crazy. Anyway, the game we're going to be starting with is Buckshot Roulette. So it's been running for about 30 seconds. Let's just uh, grab our temperatures here. I really like this old, terrible uh, keyboard. Okay, so we're at 50. C on the GP on the CPU, which isn't bad. <laughs> um, and we go. Okay, so it's running good. I just it's just so glary. Doesn't make sense why this runs better than my i7 MacBook and um i5 MacBook with a better GPU. Well, whatever. Um, so. I haven't really played this game much, but I do have it, and it's lightweight and stuff, so. Let's get into it. This keyboard is so dirty, but, and even after trying to clean it. Alright, what, oh, I was totally, I'm pretty sure it's one live, two blanks for the first round, so. Let's just, I don't remember. Come on. Ooh, alright. Do we do it again? Do we go again or shoot the dealer? I'm gonna go again. Dang it. Uh, that's not ideal. Whatever. Anyway, the game runs fine, so. <laughs> Let's check the temps one more time. Oh, this isn't very. Uh, 46. Yeah, so that's it's fine. Fine temps. 